Gather around the hot tub, folks. It's going to be glacial. So what's the myth? Well, we are dressed for cold weather, and that's good, because we're going to test whether or not you can start an avalanche by yodeling. So it's time to get those vocal cords ready. You think I can yodel? I know you can. You think I'm going to yodel? No, I don't. <laughs> This alpine myth is as old as the hills. Can this beloved form of melodious mountain song set off a mighty avalanche? The idea isn't as nonsensical as it sounds. In previous audio experiments, the guys proved that sound waves from the human voice are powerful enough to shatter glass and even extinguish a flame. Now, using the same notion in this ultimate auditory myth, we're going to try to bring a mountain to its knees. You know, if we're doing myths on avalanches, we need to go to the mountains. I think you're right, I think we will. But first, why don't we try some scale experiments here in the shop, see what we can learn about them before we go. Sure, why not? Before heading out, Adam makes a mountain by building a fiberboard tray and attaches it to a tiltable stand. Instead of making a mountain shape, we've gone with a flat plane to eliminate the variables of the topography of the mountain. They've got their mountain. Now they need some winter weather. The guys secure a wooden frame to the scissor lift and staple a sheet of fly screen to the base. A couple of small pancake motors mounted on the corners will really get things shaking. Oh, that's great. Next, they spread a thick layer of flour over the mesh. The screen is hopefully going to snow down our flower in a really nice, even fashion. And then, let's see if we can't start an avalanche here in the shop in scale. OK, here we go. They raise their giant sifter to the sky. We're going to have flower everywhere. And let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. You could use this for rolling out dough and stuff, you know? <laughs> like you yeah. In mountainous regions, the most common and destructive kind of avalanche is called a slab avalanche, when a strong, cohesive layer of snow forms on top of weak snow. All it needs is a trigger to break loose. So it's crucial for Adam and Jamie to get their scale test poised at the most precarious point possible. 135. 36. As the flower slowly builds up, they wait and watch for the exact point it all comes tumbling down. 316, 320. So I'm going to kill it at 330. Uh oh. <sighs> it went at exactly 320. <laughs> now that they've got the trigger point timed right on the verge, Jamie grooms the run. They recoat the slope. 316, 320. Kill it. OK and are ready to make some noise. I think it's really hair trigger. OK. OK, let me give you the decibel meter. So start out at 60, and if I go higher than that, just start dialing it up. Mm -hmm. Adam may not be a professional yodeler. Right, I'm going to yodel at a soft volume and slowly build up. But who doesn't know and love such movie classics as Heidi and the Sound of Music? His strange warble wouldn't have startled a mountain goat. That was 90. Here you go, no! That's giving me a headache. OK. Well. I can't imagine what it's doing to you. Well, it definitely did nothing to the snow. All right, well, that's about as loud as I can get. I think it's time to go to the megaphone. OK. A megaphone should take this scale test to the max. Is it off the charts? Yeah, that was maxing it out at 120. 120, that's like as loud as a jet engine, right? Mm, not quite. Not quite. All right, let's One. try this again. Aiming the megaphone toward a different part of the mountain might hit the right note. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> that is a result. That was a hair trigger, and it went. It went with sound from your voice. Odelay, hee-hoo. This alpine tale may just be true. <laughs> <laughs>